everyone and welcome back to another video in our hardcore Minecraft world. Last episode we built this lighthouse and previously I'd asked for suggestions on what we should do with our extra diamonds because we don't really need any more tools and armor and I think I've decided I want to do a secret underwater treasure trove. Plus this underwater area could really do with some sprucing up. Oh maybe we could add a custom shipwreck too. That could be really cool. Eee! I saw a puffer fish. Leave leave leave. Do not want. Also, ah, it looks like we still have a million stray chickens everywhere. Where did they go? Because I keep picking up eggs. Here's a couple. Sorry, chickens. You lay too many eggs. No. Anyway, to make an underwater treasure area, we're going to need coral and some more treasure. So I think we need to go on an ocean adventure to prepare. So I'm going to make some more rockets and then we can head off. Let's go. We are heading west and we're looking for sunken ships for treasure and for the coral reef. I feel like I already saw a sunken ship here. Oh yeah, there it is. We're still really close to home though, so I might have already got this one. Um, we need to break in here. Uh, that's all junk and it looks pretty broken, so I don't know if there'll be another chest. Is there one down here somewhere? Probably not. No, okay. Wait, is that another one already or is it just a random lump of land? Let's see. Oh, I think that's... Is that a random lump of land? I can't even tell. Oh, no, that's a shipwreck. Oh, we're finding heaps already. Um, oh, here's a chest. Ooh, hello. There's no treasure map, though. But there is a lot of goodies. Can the map be somewhere else? Wait, is this whole thing on its side? Is that what's going on here? I can't even tell, honestly. Oh, there's another chest. What's in here? Oh, <gasps> buried treasure map. That's what we want. Oh, and we'll take paper as well. That's good for rockets. Well, that was easy. Let's go on our first treasure mission. Let's see. Uh, we need to go south? Like somewhere over in this direction, perhaps? Oh yeah, we're definitely going down, which is the right way. Basically, we're going where we came from. <gasps> oh, do you see those glow squid? You're so pretty. Oh yay, glowing sacks. Uh-oh. And I forgot my bed. <laughs> this is really not ideal. Oh, look, it's my um, mob farm. That's what it's called. Okay, this is good. We're very close to home and we're very close to the treasure. Okay, bed's been acquired and I think we're in the right area for the treasure. Oh, and there's another shipwreck. Oh, this shipwreck's very intact. Wait, can we get... Oh, here's a chest. Not a lot. And in here. Hello? Oh, yes. Ooh, another map. Uh, yep. That is, that's the same map. Yeet. Oh, we're finally on the map. Ah, yes. Okay. And then we go a little bit north. Oh, it's here. It's here. It's here. And the treasure should be somewhere right here. This better be good. It's been a lot of effort. Ah, uh, this isn't going well. Just keep digging. Just keep digging. What do we do we dig? Oh. Oh wait. <laughs> I think I found it. Wow, that's the first time I've dug under one of those. Instead of just next to it. And what have we got? Oh, there's no diamonds. But we do have some stuff that we could call treasure. Oh, I'm gonna need to empty the inventory. Well, that wasn't great, but I guess I call it a start. And now we continue west to the coral reef. And maybe some more treasure. We'll see. Um, excuse me? Excuse me. You are a woodland mansion. Oh, and also you are a lot of lag. Oh, I hear guys inside. Oh, it's really tempting to just go in. At the same time, am I prepared to do this right now? The answer is no. This is the second mansion we've found in our world though. What the heck? Oh, creeper. Oh, look at you. You are an evoker. Oh, yuck. And in here, nothing. Let me know if you guys think we should explore the mansion. Or we could do the one near our house. I might need to mentally prepare myself for a couple of episodes, but we could give it a go. Oh, there's so many bookshelves. Ooh, who are you? Hello. Actually, I think there's a lot of evokers in this one. Hate that. Let's keep going. There's some kind of lump down there. Is this another shipwreck? Wait, what is this? Wait, hold on. Is this a geode? Oh, it is! Look at that! Oh, it's so pretty! Can we just... Oh, 
Yep, we can go straight in. Oh wow, it's so self-contained and safe. Pretty geode sounds. Let's pop down a couple of torches. And I'm pretty sure this counts as ocean treasure, so we should collect some of it. We'll use silk touch to get some of these crystal bits. And then we'll take a few of the blocks too. I don't want to take too many though. I don't want to wreck the geode. It's too pretty. That be wait, that's one of those mushroom islands. What is our luck today? We're finding all the rare things out in the ocean. This isn't the adventure I planned for, but it's the adventure I want. Wait, is this really tiny? I think it's really small. Yeah, oh, and there's not a single mushroom anywhere. It's still really cool though. I'm gonna take this mycelium. What a cute island. This would be such an interesting spawn. Well, I guess we head on. Goodbye, cute island. And we've arrived at our beautiful final destination, the coral reef. Also, it seems like after 17 episodes, we've finally got our first desert in this world. So I guess we have to go over there and check out, what is that? Shipwreck. Okay, shipwreck, then village, then coral, then home. Oh, this is a good one. It might have all three chests. Please have a map. Oh, treasure. Oh, here we go. Very treasure map. And it is north. The west. Yeah, northwest. It's kind of near this village, so we'll go over here first. They have a peninsula, but it's made of sandstone and a floating dead bush. Cool, cool. Do you have any loot? Nope. I don't know what I expect, honestly. Oh my gosh. It's a drowned infested village. Everyone's panicking. Well, these guys aren't. I will save them. Dude. Get back in the water. Oh, the whole village is floating, so I guess they can all spawn in the dark underneath. Oh, and there's also this thing. And this thing. Sometimes these have loot, right? <gasps> there we go. Uh, no. Oh, but I will go for a sea lantern. Or two. Oh, what is happening here? I think this must be part of the drowned ruins. Treasure map. It's probably the same as the other one. Okay, let's check. Yeah, these are the same. I'm just gonna put one back. And we're going northeast, I think. And it'll be right over here. Ah, it's in the water. Not my fave. Hello. Treasure. Oh, there it is. A diamond! This is good treasure. We like it. Well, that pretty much achieves our mission. So I'm going to collect some coral and then we're going to go home. We can get to building and decorating. We're home! Wait, how did a bee get out? That must be one of my bees from the greenhouse. Why are you here? I guess we can make you a beehive. There you are. Okay, I'm just going to leave this. It can go out here. Go in, go in, go in. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Yay! I guess this means we're expanding our bee population. Oh, it'll be really cute if we can have beehives throughout the fields. But anyway, we're building a treasure grotto, a coral reef, and a ship. We can get started on the first two, and for the ship, we'll need to age some copper. We've got heaps out here, and some of it's already aged, but we're gonna add to it. All the copper. So here's the underwater area we're working with. And clearly the most ugly and odd looking part is the fact that these pillars don't go all the way down. But we'll fix that now. Next we can decorate with coral and sea pickles. We'll put some all the way down here and then some up on that hill bit. How should we do this? Needs to kind of look random. Not sure how. Maybe some can kind of come out of the hill. Okay, now we've got the coral blocks in this area. It's kind of hard to see right now, but it's got a lot of gravel in it. So I want to add some sand and I also want to add a lot of kelp and seagrass, which is pretty easy to do. Lots of bone meal. And the kelp. Now lastly, we can light it up with sea pickles and we can add all of these uh, coral thingies. Like this. They're so pretty. So now we've got the coral in. I've dug out this little underground treasure room. It's um 
it's really ugly so let's make it pretty we'll start with some pillars along the walls so we'll put dark oak in every corner and then one in between then we're gonna dig out these walls and we'll replace them with jungle wood and we'll give it a warped floor for a slightly more ocean color scheme Next we're going to add some details to the pillars and we'll light the room properly with lanterns and sea lanterns. I also brought some glow bearers which I thought we could hang everywhere for a bit of an overgrown look. Like maybe no one's been here in a while. And then we just need the treasure. I think I'm going to make little shelves for some of it and then the rest can be just kind of in the middle of the room. Like kind of just piled up anywhere. We're done! So our little treasure grotto is kind of hidden behind all of this kelp but you can go in here and we have this beautiful secret overgrown room. We got emeralds and amethyst, obviously diamonds and there's a few treasure chests. Most of them have a few random bits of treasure like this. Oh yeah this one has a diamond and some other stuff. And then we have heart of the sea and a map. A great way to hide all of our diamonds and treasure away until we might need them. And then the last thing I want to make, I don't think I'll do an underwater shipwreck. I think I want to do an actual ship in the harbour. That way we'll be able to see it more. I think this area would be a good spot too, but maybe we'll go on a little fly and just make sure how it looks from a distance. So I'm thinking, oh, maybe we'll do it out a bit, like here. Yeah, somewhere here. So we'll go dirt pillar. Oops, uh, I've never built in the water before. Is this going to be awkward? I have a feeling it's going to be awkward. Also, because I've never built a ship in Minecraft before, I might use a bit of an inspiration image. So I'll link that below. We're going to have a copper base to the ship, but we'll start out with using dark oak to kind of make an outline. And then we want the main deck to be jungle. Yeah, something like this for the front. And then obviously it needs to get a lot wider, so we'll start by going three wide for the deck, and then we'll extend it to five. So maybe three three and three and then we'll go one two three four and five and we'll make it about five this way as well and then I think we'll just keep working on the shape until we've got something good so we've got a basic ship shape ship shape it's a weird phrase we still need to add the sail and I want to add a few little details. I was wondering maybe if these bits would be better as trapdoors. I think maybe, but dark oak? Oh, but first, sleep. Sleeping on the umbrella. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I like it. And then we'll place some barrels. Barrels and a chest. And we'll want some lighting. And then we just need the sail. I want to have it as though it's kind of rolled up. So I think that'll be easier. Oh, this is looking so cute. I want to make some of this copper look like this piece though. So it's not all perfectly aged. I think we're all done with this. Although there's one part I haven't actually showed you yet. So it turns out that this thing is big enough for a teeny tiny interior. Look at this. There's a little cabin. Is that what it's called? I don't know. But there's enough room for a desk, some storage and a bed. It's a cute ship and it's functional. And I think that'll be about all for today. We've got our ship, we've got our coral reef, and we've got our hidden, well, dolphin. Ah, I can't get in the door. Our hidden treasure grotto. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you did enjoy, please leave a like and a comment. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.